Hey there, it's Jimmy. I'm back. I uh, just want to shoot a pretty quick video this morning. It's freezing cold, about 24 degrees out here in northern Colorado. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm going to think I'm going to start up again on a limited basis. But uh, if you like what you see, please do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification or notify me button too, so that you know when I uh, upload a new video. Um, so check this out. Today we have a 1993 Ford Festiva. This is cool. A lot of people think these were, well, some people think they were built by Ford. They were not. Uh, a lot of people think they were built by Kia, which they were in this case. However, they're Mazda designed and uh, Kia built it under license for Ford. So let's take a look at this thing. It's uh, obviously small. It's not the Ford Fiesta and not to be confused with a Fiesta. It's completely different, unrelated in all respects, except that's a small two-door car. Um, but they're kind of cool. And this is a 93, which is the last year of the first generation. Um, and, you know, it's kind of surprising. When they came out, people thought they were just kind of crappy, wouldn't last long. And, well, you know, here we are in 2000, what, 22? And this car is 29 years old and just ended in the junkyard, well, this week uh, or a couple of days ago. Um, which is pretty impressive for a car that has no accident damage. So, not sure what happened with it, but let's uh let's take a closer look at the whole thing obviously finished in white uh available in a bunch of different colors this is the upmarket gl gl let's double check that yeah gl trim which was the top of the line so i got alloy wheels um body colored bumpers nicer trim throughout um mechanically they're all pretty much the same in this case let's take a look at the engine um it's a 1.3 liter four-cylinder engine uh, assembled by Kia. So the whole thing's made by Kia in uh, in Korea, obviously. It says right there, made in Korea. And uh, obviously front engine, front wheel drive, transverse layout. Um, nothing particularly special or interesting, just it worked. So this is kind of cool. It's totally complete still. Somebody's got a little homebrew cap on their... Uh, uh, washer <laughs> fluid filler um, and uh, yeah but uh, let's check this out so you know you headlights that are the arrow style which is cool little tiny alloy wheels let's see how big these things are these are 12 inch wheels tire size is 15580 R12 that's probably one of the hardest things to find these days is actually tires for this thing not many 12s around anymore, or 13s, or 14s, even 15s, right? Um, but it's kind of cool with the alloys. You've got the orange uh, turn signals there, but you can tell it wasn't designed for the European market because the European market would have the orange on the outside, not on the inside. Um, let's take a look under here. You've got the high minor brake light, obviously. Look at that, opens and the strut still works may or may not be original probably not original but who knows it's got the cover i don't know what that trim panel is but it's got the little targo uh hidey thing jack and spare wheel is under here so there's the jack handle got nice carpeting here there's the spare tire that's most likely original it's a yokohama so it's probably been here for 29 years interesting got speakers here in the rear deck for the upmarket GL model. Pretty cool. Rear wiper, it's neat. Yeah, no body damage. And this is uh, this is a local dealer here in Colo Northern Colorado. So maybe it was uh, sold new up here. Fuel fillers right there behind the door. Let's uh, let's take a look. To, yeah, I miss these things. The antennas that came up. This is a very Japanese thing, right? That came up out of the pillar, totally out of the way. Uh, not in your eyesight or anything, and you could uh, retract it or raise it as you wish. Take a look inside. Look at that. You've got cloth, kind of velour on the door panel here. It's plastic. Pretty good shape. Manual window winders. Two seats in the front, obviously. Pretty roomy back seat. They're not terrible. It's, it's kind of a, it's a vinyl headliner. Pretty good shape. Actually, the seats are in good shape too. I mean, look at this thing. This is 29 years old. No tears in the seats. Looks pretty solid. It's uh, basic instrumentation, but 163,000 miles on it. That's not terrible at all. Um, obviously, it was 
well taken care of it looks like this one has the automatic well it's got to be glacially slow up here in the in the mountains especially when you turn the optional air conditioning on interesting but a uh, nice dash with storage and everything glove box here still works everything's pretty good cigarette lighter ashtray Ooh, with a button in it yuck um let's see oh we've got these horrible what are these the door mounted um seat belts here that would kind of like try to strangle you it's a horrible idea but well what can you do this is all in the pre-airbag era or right about here is, is actually when airbags started coming out in the early 90s so this was a way for manufacturers to get around it but here manufactured by kia motors for ford motor company on oh, it says the exact date july 10th 1992. so this one's over 30 years old actually so there's the actual VIN number so anyway kind of cool but yeah, again, this is Jimmy again. Uh, if you did like what you saw, please, actually, if, even if you didn't like what you saw, please do subscribe and uh, I'll keep making these again. And uh, yeah, glad to, glad to see you guys again and uh, well, enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.